And now we're talking with uh, Owen Ryan. Owen Ryan. And Owen, what do you do at Forvia? I am responsible for pre-development for the uh, exterior lighting for the region. Okay, and you got some cool lighting stuff to show us here. Yes, John, I do. Welcome. Let's hear about it. So this is uh, this is Safair. This is our masterpiece vehicle for the show. Uh -huh. uh, and I'm going to take you through a quick tour of the exterior lighting. So this is our uh, welcome scenario where it welcomes you to the vehicle, gives you its name. It could give you your name as well. It, can, it could be programmed to uh, say who's coming towards the vehicle, for instance, with a ride share application. It could say, you know, this is a ride taxi for John, for example. So this is, uh, shows a, a light curtain in the front, which, and we have uh, some mini LED screens behind to give the text. So the daytime driving mode, uh, this is a, what we call our essential edge light technology. So this is an acrylic light bar with laser etching in, inside the component, not on, not on the outside, it's actually inside the part so that when we hard coat this, we don't lose the design elements that you see in the, in, the, uh, in the part itself. And this provides a very homogeneous appearance for the daytime running light for at, at, uh, at the viewing angles. We also have uh, a light bar on the bottom of the vehicle. Uh, this is uh, the autonomous mode. This can show that the vehicle is switching to Autonomous, it turns on the cyan colored LEDs on the side. Now, I, I, what I want to tell our viewers too is while they see the lights flickering, that's because of the camera. Our eyes right. do not see that. Yeah, the refresh rate of the camera. So this mode is called shared space mode. So this would be if the vehicle is in autonomous mode and for instance, looking for a parking space. And as you can see, if you look at the outside of the vehicle here on the corners, we've highlighted the, for low speed, like in a parking lot or something, we can highlight the area that the vehicle is, 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 is taking up just for uh, vulnerable road users, for example. So that's done with a little projector in the, just above the bumper right here. We also have a projector in the bumper for the turn signal. So on the left-hand side here only, we have integrated a uh, projected turn signal onto the ground. So again, for vulnerable road users that may not see the turn signal, they could see it on the, on the road. And we use the same, uh, same edge light technology to give a very uniform appearance for the, for the turn signal. So moving to the main beam functions like a low beam, we have, this is what we call our CLA, cylindrical lens array te technology. So this provides a vertical lit uh, signature for the, for the low beam, which a lot of our customers are asking us for these days, rather than a spotty appearance. If you look at it from the, in the driving angle, you see it's quite a uniform appearance. And we also have the uh, extended the signature for the, for the uh, low beam into the display panels that we have behind here. And then we have the high beam. The high beam has the same uh, CLA functionality, but just with a slightly different optical design. So we have a, a uh, vertical high beam as well. So that's pretty much it for the front of the car. There's a interesting uh, scenario I want to show you on the back of the car sure as thing. well. So as part of the it's part of the farewell, it's part of the farewell animation. We have this screen on the back, on the back of the car. This is what we call our smart CMX, smart communication matrix. So this allows us to give uh, displays of text or graphics on the, on, on the rear of the car. This can also be used in the front of a car. For instance, you can show uh, people's names, you can show like what the battery charge level is by, by just displaying letters or numbers on this screen. And it even works in a uh, passive mode. So if there's no power to it, you can still have a, uh, a visible, for instance, in park, in, when a vehicle is parked, it can show you the charge level that you have on your, on your vehicle. And it only uses 20 milliwatts of energy to, to uh, or 20 milliwatts of power to, to make this happen.
So that's uh, the exterior of our Safir vehicle for our Deep Innovation Days for 2025. Thanks, Owen. Thank you, John. Thank you.